What's going on guys? This is Logan with West Desert Wheeler. Today we have made it. Me and my friends Zach and Luke came all the way from Utah out to Corona Del Mar out there on the beach to run the awesome sandstone formations that are hanging out in California. I've seen this on Instagram so much and I've seen all these crazy cool lines that everybody gets to run out here and I've wanted to go check it out for myself to see how my cars would do it. In today's video, we're going to be running the four wheel steer buggies. This is going to be a good time. We've got three custom all metal cage, all metal axle cars. So these things are pretty sweet. Uh, my blue car you see here with a bunch of stickers on it, that is my shoot. That is my super shafty Chupa Capra car, and it has Vanquish axles on it. They are the Vanquish Capra axles, so they both have offset differentials. And then I've got Shift GT3 servo in the front, along with a Shift X2 servo in the rear. Uh, I've got my own cut and shut BFG crawler tires on there with 2.2 inch spec RC wheels. Actually, fun fact, all three of us here are running my tires that I modify. So all three cars here have got the same opportunity for traction, and these tires really do awesome. As you can see me fighting that crack there, trying from the right side, from the left side. Ultimately, it came down to just approaching it with a balanced approach. And we're going to come up and over the top and then drop into the backside. But we've got two other awesome cars along with us. So Zach, you can find him on Instagram at Utah County Crawler. He has the green RC Speedy R2 chassis, I believe, and he has Treel metal axles under his. And then we've got Luke from Scumbag RC on Instagram, and he has the pink and white splatter car. That is an Emery Works chassis. That was handmade and brazed together. And uh, his car is also on Treel axles. So lots of rear steer goodness going on. And these things are just crazy fun to get out on the rocks and try these super technical lines that we're trying to zigzag our way through. You can see Zach here just sneaking past that ledge there and then going ahead and using the rear steer to just scoop right around that and then head up and over the obstacle. Luke's cage was a little bit tall for that one, so he decided to run up and around. No big deal. We got plenty more lines to hit. Here, the Trooper Capra coming up over this obstacle. I didn't time my turn just right. I was a little more focused on filming. So we're going to see a couple different lines through this, which is actually pretty fun. So again, I was watching Zach and filming that while not really paying attention to where I was going. Uh, Zach's got raw 500s front and rear and no springs on Capra 96 millimeter shocks. So I'm going up the left line, which is a little bit lower, but a taller ledge at the bottom. So there we go, working the rears around, getting rotated, and then I've got a pretty nasty break over at the top, rotating and approaching that on a good angle to keep my belly off the rocks. And now Zach's going for the bigger wall, a little bit of an overhang on it. Again, you can see those 2.2 inch cut and shut tires that I make. Uh, I believe all three of us are running Hobby Wing Fusions, although Zach and Luke are running a Hobby Wing Fusion Pro, and they are going through the Deluxe Pro Trans. The, the, the deluxe portal transmission, which is extremely compact and uh, really awesome for these buggies. All metal design and uh, nice and quiet as well. And it's set up for a gear reduction that matches having portal axles at the drivetrain. Now I am using a three gear style transmission. I am using an element stealth transmission that actually provides overdrive built in and that it has a lot of gearing reduction, so I need to add more KVs to my car to make it uh, have better wheel speed. So my car has a ton of gear reduction, which means that I can wedge it into stuff and uh, just power on through and it doesn't really care. So whether that's good or bad, I do that a lot with my car. Now while out on the trails, this is a good representation of what actually happens, and that is multiple cars trying multiple lines at the same time. Whether it's RCs or full size, that, team, that seems to be a theme out there. Now I need to send thanks to our friends over at Rock Pirates RC. They let us come down to California and crash at their place. So huge shout out and thank you to the boys over at Rock Pirates RC. Speaking of, uh, there's supposed to be another Trooper Capra in this video, which belongs to Connor from Rock Pirates RC. Unfortunately, he had a portal break. You can find him on Instagram under the name Portal Killer RC. And uh, no. That's not a joke, and it didn't change after this trip. It was already Portal Killer because he's earned that name. And uh, yeah, unfortunately, only one Trooper Capra in this video. 
But Corona del Mar is awesome. It's right next to the ocean side, as you can see in the background. I believe that is referred to as Pirate's Cove. Bunch of awesome yachts cruising past in the background while we sit here on the beach and play with our RC cars. It's always a good time. Uh, it is fairly crowded. There's a lot of touristy stuff going on, but uh, overall, great time. Nobody really bothers you for sure. They just kind of look at it and laugh, which is fine. Uh, another aspect of this is that the Rock Pirates had invited the, the whole group of Rock Pirates and friends to come out and go crawling with us out on the beach. So we had a bunch of friends out there with us. Um, I was a little bit selfish, I guess, at this point, you could say, and I didn't record very many other people. So I was just kind of documenting our buggy run here is what we were doing, but you will see a lot of our friends hanging out in the background. A lot of them Rock Pirates team drivers or just friends that like to go out and RC crawl, which is awesome having a bunch of fun with everybody out there on the rocks. Now I'm fighting my way through this narrow pinch. Um, in a second, we're gonna get an awesome audio clip where you can hear Connor uh, absolutely destroy his portal on his Trooper Capra. Let's take a listen. Unfortunate break there for Connor, but uh, at least I got it on the audio, so there you go. And he was quite a ways away. That thing let go with a real snap. Um, that was unfortunate and uh, yeah, was really hoping to have him in the video. He has a beautiful car that was wrapped by uh, some people over at Proline and man, that thing just turned out killer. Time to get him some metal axles as well, especially with a name like Portal Killer RC. You're gonna need some metal axles there, bud. Working our way out of this crack, trying to get those rears to climb a little bit more and then we're on an off camber U-turn through here and then we're actually gonna set ourselves up to come off of a drop, which is a bit of a V crack, so I gotta get my belly squared up kinda of where I want. Gonna helicopter the camera up and over and get a better view of taking this drop here. But it was super fun getting the opportunity to hang out with the people that I've followed on Instagram and our friends from California. Being out on their terrain, they were sharing a bunch of awesome lines and we had a great time out there with everyone on the rocks. So thanks to anybody who made it out. It uh, helped make our trip special, so we greatly appreciate that. Here's another view of Luke's awesome Emery Works chassis. Again, handmade, hand braised. And uh, this is the moon buggy style cage that Emery Works has. This is a pretty special car for Luke as a group of friends got together and helped him actually put this entire package together and it turned out absolutely awesome. Luke did a killer job putting everything together and uh, adding a few touches of his own. I really like the, how the panels turned out. I like the pink splatter a lot. I think he did a really great job with that. And then the small details like the little pink servo washers go so well with the rest of the build. It's such a small thing, but it really sets it off. And uh, it's the little things that add up to make this car just look so good out there on the rocks. Uh, along with those pink shift 2.2 wheels, they are narrow. And uh, we, are, we are running uh, SL3D squid inserts um, in our cut and shut tires. SL3D made those specific to a sample that I had set them. And then on top of that, they have a couple options for different widths of wheels. So I run a wider wheel, which is 30 millimeters wide or 1.25 wide. And then Luke runs a narrow wheel, which I think is one inch or even narrower than that on the shift wheels and SL3D accommodates that. They make specific inserts for those. You just gotta talk to them and uh, they'll get you set up with what you need for your car. And we are both, Luke and myself, really enjoying the SL3D inserts on these tires. Uh, they feel great, they work great. As you can see, they're putting the car on an extreme side hill and there's just no sidewall roll at all. Unfortunately, on this line, trying to figure out a way through, just not gonna happen. So we sent Zach in with a little bit smaller cage. This is significantly smaller than my Trooper Capra as well. It's very narrow. The RC Speedy cages are quite small and can be wedged into some real tight spots. Uh, here is Zach fighting his way through. Now, what's hard to tell is that his rear end is actually balanced in a crack and he can't really let that rear tire come off the wall or else the whole car will fall down into the bottom again. And uh, the front is wider than the canyon is. So it's, we're just trying to fight and see if we can get the car to sneak through. Unfortunately, it was real close right there but there's just nowhere else for those wheels and tires to go. And uh, after trying for a little while, and I mean a little while, uh, just didn't end up happening, but uh, Zach doing an awesome job trying to force that thing where it doesn't belong. Here on this clip, I've got the Trooper Capra out on a pretty aggressive side hill cliff edge. Just wanted to get an awesome shot with the ocean in the background. And then we're gonna go do an 
awesome steep drop. That's one of my favorite things to do with this car is it's actually got a fairly balanced weight uh, bias. So taking a look at Luke having a rough time out on the trails, snapped a uh, cross pin in one of his portal gears, but luckily Luke had what he needed to get it repaired. So no big deal, pulled some screws out, replaced the pin. Yep, sheared both ends of that pin clean off. Um, plenty of power coming out of those Hobbywing Fusion uh, motors right there. This was a funny one because I did this with my class two truck, my Rock Pirates RC Interceptor. And you would think with bigger tires and rear steer that uh, this car would easily do it. However, maybe I'm just driving the rears in the wrong position or something. I think really what it comes down to is that my class two truck has a much more aggressive weight balance front to rear, which is kind of what I was talking about. Uh, this car has a 53% front weight balance and 47 rear and my class two truck has 60% in the front and 40% in the rear. So basically on climbs like this, the class two truck, the front end is really what controls where the traction is going to the tires and it would float a rear tire right there rather than let the front come up into the air. Uh, working my rears around, now here's the issue on this climb is that you end up running out of traction up top and there's way too much traction on that back right tire and it makes it very difficult to get the truck to rotate and move and slide how you want because that right rear has so much control over the vehicle it just tries to roll it over and unfortunately once you get into a big wall like that on the left side the tires just load up with traction and it lifts the front end off the wall and you have to take an immediate reverse to save your car. Getting pretty close to the end here, you can see we're all just chewing away at these lines, having a good time chasing each other around at Corona Del Mar. Uh, this one was a very steep one and wasn't sure that my car was gonna do it or not. Again, had done it in the class two. Again, it's all about the weight balance here. This car is not particularly my best extreme steep angle climber. Getting back to that weight balance thing, that's really what makes a big difference on steep climbs but tire placement and overdrive can do some amazing things. And as you can see, was able to get the Trooper Capra up and out. That was actually my first attempt because I knew if I had made it on the first attempt, I would probably not get it again. So I was careful to record it the first time and see what would happen. This is a really fun side hill and you gotta get the car twisted up and around. And it's also key to catch that ledge on that right rear tire to not let the right rear slip down the wall. Just able to make it happen getting our way up and through here. I'm gonna cruise on down the trail. We're gonna take a look at Luke trying to get through here. Unfortunately, I think he lost that right rear hook and then ends up taking a spill off the edge. We're gonna go take a look at the Trooper Capra as I make a 180 around this ledge and head back uphill. But this is going to be the end of the buggy run here at Corona Del Mar in California. Thanks again to all of our friends over at Rock Pirates RC. Thanks again to everybody in California who came out and went RC crawling with us for a day. It really made it awesome and we greatly appreciate it. Thanks so much for you guys coming and hanging out with me in the video. Be sure to get subscribed if you're not already. Hit the affiliate links down below and we will see you guys in the next one. Keep the rubber side down.